Hey guys, so for the longest time, the biggest meme in Lost Ark has been the GT Destroyer. And many people have regarded this as one of the worst classes in the game. Many people have said that this class just doesn't do damage. And because of that, I've been undergoing a journey to play this class and see for myself, is it really as bad as people say? And I haven't really geared my GT Destroyer out the ass or anything like that, but I did push the class to 1580, did a con on it for many weeks, and so far my experience with the class is definitely that it's not necessarily a weak class at all. And let me explain. Just because I say it's not really a weak class doesn't mean that the class performs well. Unfortunately, my guess was true. Before I went into the class itself and built the class, I have always said that GT Destroyer fundamentally as a class in terms of damage output isn't a bad class at all. But the only reason why it's hard to do damage on the class and the class struggles is because of the design of the raids in the game. Now, if you look at another class that just came out, Breaker, that class is extremely powerful. Of course, the Breaker is an OP class to begin with, so as a result, it is going to be doing a lot more damage than a class like Destroyer. But at the same time, there's a reason why the auto attacking kind of play style of the class works compared to that of the GT Destroyer. You see, the thing with Sura Breaker is that the flurry of punches is only over about a five to six, seven seconds. I haven't really calculated the exact amount of time, but it is a very, very short amount of time. Whereas the GT Destroyer has to do that for pretty much twice the amount of time. So the amount of damage that the Breaker is doing is much more condensed compared to the Destroyer. So the main reason why the GT Destroyer doesn't do much damage is not because of the class itself. It's not like the class does no damage, but rather it's because the bosses in the game don't lend themselves well to the GT Destroyer playstyle because of the length of its burst. I think the burst window is a very important thing in this game, and that's also why a lot of gunslingers say that their class isn't that great right now, is because their burst window is about 18 seconds, whereas a class like Asura Breaker, their burst window is about 5 to 7 seconds, and because of that, they're able to fit in all their skills in a short period of time, whereas a class like GT Destroyer has to use a lot more time to be able to get out all of its damage. And to make matters worse, the GT Destroyer is a front attacking class as well. So if the boss moves at all during that time period, you're losing out on a lot of damage. Of course, the Sura Breaker does suffer from this as well, but because the window is only about five to seven seconds, you're not losing out as much damage because you're probably hitting most of that five to seven seconds in the face and maybe about the last second or two is gonna be on the side or missing it. Whereas with the GT Destroyer, the majority of the time that you're bonking the boss is probably gonna be missed or wasted on the side and you're gonna have to find yourself repositioning yourself around the boss to make sure that your attacks hit. So all that time that you're kind of repositioning yourself and all that time that you're bonking is an opportunity for the boss to move and an opportunity for you to lose damage compared to a class like Sura Breaker. But it is not over just yet. The story doesn't end there because that is the current content that we're experiencing right now in NAEU. The thing is, according to Tofu, he says that the upcoming fights in KR are going to be quite different. And let me have him explain for just a second here. All our endgame raids in Korea now is Trixion dummy, right? There's a Behemoth is a Trixion dummy. Uh, Echidna is basically a Trixion dummy too. Daemine is also technically a Trixion dummy. Not exactly, but like Daemine lets you hit the boss constantly for a very long time. So as you can see, the end game fights that they have in Korea right now, a lot of times 
end up being like Trixie and dummies. And if that really is the case, then the GT Destroyer will have its time to shine. Because if it really is like a Trixie and dummy, then the boss will be standing still for quite a bit. And you'll have a lot of time to go and bonk the boss in the face. Now, of course, that's going to make a class like Breaker do even more damage, right? But at least for the GT Destroyer, the class design is going to be less of an issue compared to right now, where in our game, the bosses are just flying all over the place, making lives hard for everybody who is trying to keep the boss standing still. So there definitely is hope for us. And even Powder Snow, in one of his recent interviews with Stoops, right, he did mention that both destroyers are one of the most underrated classes in the game. While I kind of agree with that, I don't think that where we are in the game right now, that statement holds true. But where Korea is in the game right now, I think that that statement is definitely a very true one. And it's definitely a good sign for anybody who is maining both Rage Hammer and Gravity Training Destroyer. So right now, is Gravity Training Destroyer as bad as people say? I don't think so. It's not the worst class in the game. It's definitely not the best class in the game, but I'd say that it's somewhere around the middle. It does okay damage, and if you give it the right conditions, it can actually do quite a bit of damage and out DPS a lot of different classes. But the main problem is that right condition doesn't really happen very often. And also because of the way that the class works, the damage floor for the class is just extremely, extremely low. But as I mentioned earlier, it is definitely almost the time for this class to start shining just a bit more. And also, it's just a fun class to play in general. So I definitely will be continuing to play this class as my main six gold earner. And maybe this video might convince you to do the same as well. That's about it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And as always, please let me know down in the comments section below what you think about the GT Destroyer. And also, if you enjoyed the video, please remember to hit the like button, hit the sub button and ring the bell for notifications. And I stream every single night on twitch.tv slash misoxshiru. So hopefully I see you guys on my stream. But if not, hopefully I'll see y'all in the next video. All right, guys. Peace out.